Everything that we have heard and know about the X-Men entering the MCU is all starting to come together. And now we are actually getting news from Marvel Studios themselves. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson. And perhaps one of the most exciting things about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the X-Men. And if you're not really sure about what Marvel Studios' plans are for the X-Men in the MCU, this is the video for you. We'll break down exactly what they are planning and how they are going to pull it off in the MCU. From Multiverse of Madness, Professor X showing up, to Deadpool 3, to Doctor Strange 3, to Secret Wars, and after. The future of the MCU is the X-Men, but that future is starting now in the Multiverse Saga. Now, for a while now, we've heard rumors that Kevin Feige plans on bringing back the original X-Men from the original Fox X-Men movies. Yes, they did confirm Hugh Jackman was going to be returning as Wolverine, but we had heard that basically everyone was coming back. Now, of course, a lot of people didn't want to get their hopes up and still don't, rightfully so, considering what we went through with Multiverse of Madness, expecting massive and many cameos in which we didn't really get them. To an extent, the Illuminati was fantastic, but not a lot of true multiverse jumping. So after that, fans don't really want to get their hopes up, thinking that we're going to be getting a bunch of cameos in Deadpool 3 or any other multiverse saga film. Well, Marvel Studios has basically come out and confirmed we are indeed going to be getting them in the MCU. And this is only the start of Marvel Studios' plan and Kevin Feige's plan for the X-Men in the MCU. Let's go over what Sean Levy, the director of Deadpool 3 for Marvel Studios, has recently said about the X-Men coming to the MCU. He made it pretty clear that Deadpool 3 is going to include the Fox X-Men legacy. He said, Deadpool and Wolverine are iconic Marvel characters. More specifically, iconic Marvel of the Fox era characters. We're not going to pretend, oh, we snap our fingers and suddenly the Fox legacy doesn't exist. And it shaped a lot of what we now know as the MCU. Fox also shaped Ryan's career, Hugh's career, and my career. So there's a lot of history there, and there's a lot of Marvel history at Fox. And certainly that's part of our storytelling. So that is coming directly from Sean Levy, the director of Deadpool 3. And he basically just confirmed, yeah, we're not ignoring the Fox legacy. We are not ignoring the other X-Men characters. We are going to bring them into this movie. And it sounds like he's almost planning to honor what they did in the past over at Fox with the X-Men, which honestly should be done because they really did start it off. And those original movies are classic and iconic. And for a lot of us, they're our childhood. So honoring them before they go away and we say farewell is a great idea. And that is Kevin Feige's plan. We have heard for a while now that Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, is taking the multiverse saga and specifically Avengers Secret Wars as a great opportunity to bring these characters into the MCU for the first time. Because remember, nothing was really connected in these movies, the old X-Men movies weren't connected to the Spider-Man movies or the Daredevil film or Elektra, etc. So all of these characters and actors, unfortunately, back then did not have the opportunity to be a part of a connected universe. But now that Kevin Feige is in charge and remember, Kevin Feige started with the first X-Men movie and pretty much worked on every movie since then. So he knows everyone as far as the actors are concerned. So now he can bring those characters and those people that he knows and loves into this universe to say farewell properly. That is what we have heard his plans are. However, we have also heard that there are some deaths coming. So it looks like some of those farewells might not exactly all be peaceful. We'll talk about these deaths in just a bit, but first, big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Many of you may know that I personally use HelloFresh and I love it. It makes cooking fun, easy, and it's affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit delivered straight to your door. And you might not know that they actually have seasonal recipes. Right now, since it's summer, they have their new fresh and fit summer menu. So if you're trying to get that beach bud, but you're also trying to eat really great tasting food, it's perfect for you. Right now, it's peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh makes sure you get all the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than seven days for quality you can taste. If you are trying to impress your friends this summer by doing some cooking for them, HelloFresh makes it super simple. They give you all of the ingredients and tell you exactly how to make each meal. And the best part is right now you can go to HelloFresh.com 50cosmic and use code 50cosmic 
for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50Cosmic and use code 50Cosmic for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. So speaking of the deaths, yesterday we did a video talking about how the insider My Time to Shine Hello has teased that Secret Wars really is going to be what we think and hope it's going to be cameos galore with a lot of old legacy Fox X-Men characters appearing in Secret Wars. They posted a picture of a fan poster stating this is what Secret Wars is going to be like. On it is Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, we have Daredevil, The Punisher, Ghost Rider, the original Fantastic Four, Blade, some of the X-Men. This is really what Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios have planned, and that's fantastic. However, today, the insider Can We Get Some Toast stated in a reply to that tweet and poster, pretty much, although some of those Fox vs. Marvel characters won't be making it out of Deadpool 3. So as Sean Levy, the director of Deadpool 3, basically confirmed, the cameos are going to start with Deadpool 3. From what we have heard, the TVA is essentially going to create a battle world from the comics Avengers Secret Wars battle world. Basically, from what we've heard, the TVA, when the multiverse is going to start collapsing and incursions start happening, is going to go to different universes and take certain characters and save them from those collapsing and dying universes and put them all on one combined Earth in one universe. So we're going to essentially have Battle World, one world where a bunch of people from a bunch of different universes are gathered. And this sounds amazing. However, we should not assume that all of these characters are going to get along. In fact, we should definitely assume that they are not going to get along, especially if you have characters like Magneto, Sabretooth, and especially if you have variants of the same character. Think about Magneto fighting with another Magneto and just simply good characters fighting against bad characters. Imagine if we had a Magneto and a Doctor Doom and they wanted two different things. Well, chances are they're probably gonna fight. Plus not to mention Deadpool and Wolverine from what we've heard are gonna get pretty bloody as well. We know they're going to get pretty bloody with each other, but let's face it, in the previous Deadpool movies, we watched Deadpool kill a lot of people. And we've basically heard that a Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe version is going to happen in Deadpool 3, but it's going to be a Deadpool kills the Fox Universe. So some of these X-Men are going to probably say goodbye at the hands of of Deadpool. And keep in mind, it's probably not just going to be the X-Men. Obviously, they're going to be a big part of it, but the original Fantastic Four could show up in this film as well, and variants of other characters that we might not have seen yet could show up. However, even if some characters die in Deadpool 3, I don't think that will officially be the end. In fact, even if they die in Deadpool 3, I'm pretty sure they'll still return in Avengers Secret Wars. And this will be when Kevin Feige truly has a chance to say goodbye to them. Perhaps when all is said and done, at the end of Avengers Secret Wars and Kang is defeated, hopefully, and it's time to return to respective universes, that's when we get our big emotional farewell to these legacy characters who paved the way for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Many insiders have said Secret Wars will be a tribute and a farewell to these old characters, and I personally can't wait to see it. But then after Secret Wars, the fun begins because that's when the new X-Men and the new mutants of the MCU arrive. Based off of everything that we've heard so far, everything from now till Secret Wars is about the old previous X-Men, perhaps with a little bit of new mixed in there with some variants. But then after Secret Wars, it's all about the new X-Men. And hopefully we start like the Avengers started. Hopefully we start with individual stories and origin stories for these characters and they eventually build up to a complete X-Men team. Hopefully that's what we have in store, but go ahead and let us know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. How do you feel about some of the original X-Men possibly dying in Deadpool 3? Do you want to see this? Do you not? Let us know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the MCU. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. The winner picks one item and we pick a winner at the end of each month. Only four days left in this month to enter. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf.